Hi, I'm Bob Ostrom. I'm a children's book illustrator. Today we're going to be working with colored pencils. So I've got my little picture of Santa here. We're going to go ahead and color him in my, uh, my guy on the beach here. Santa on the beach. Okay, so I'm going to start with his, uh, with his skin tones here. And what I do when I'm working with colored pencils is I just sort of build up my colors gradually. So the first thing I'm doing here is just sort of blocking in color just to get an idea of what color I want where. Okay, so here's his... Here's his head right there. We'll throw a little bit of that in down here. Okay, I'm going to just, like I said, I'm going to sort of gradually build up my colors. All right, so give him some red trunks. That's a little bit dark. So I've got a little scribble sheet here next to me where I can go ahead and just test my colors out before I use them. So I want like a sort of a, a lighter red color. I think this one might be good. That's perfect. So let's start with this shorts down here. Now if you guys don't have as many colors as I have, don't worry, you can still get the same effect. What I like to do when I'm working with these colors is just blend them together. So I start out lightly and just block in the colors that I'm going to be using for each part of the, the outfit here. And then I'll go back in and I'll start to use different colors for my shadows. So this is basically just a sort of a light greenish shirt here. And I want this shirt to be real bright. So I'll probably use a little bit of yellow on top of that. And I'll use some blues in my shadows for that guy. So let's grab a nice bright green and yellow. Let's see, we'll find my nice bright, bright yellow. There it is. Okay. So let's work on blending a little bit of color into this shirt. So I want to Get this to be uh, sort of a lime, lime green color here. And wherever the light strikes is where the yellow is really going to be. So let's take this yellow and sort of throw that in over here. That's looking pretty good. Okay, and I can do the same thing in here. Put a little yellow in the center here. And also even into the red, a little bit of yellow in there. Okay, a little bit into his skin tones here. So again, I'm just gradually building up my colors as I go. And the reason that I'm not bearing down too hard on my paper is because I want it to hold as much color as I can. So what happens with papers are that they have what's called a tooth. A tooth to the paper is what holds your pencil. So uh, a paper would have like, if you looked in very close on it, it has a very bumpy surface to it. And so when the, when the pencil goes over that surface, a little bit of it rubs off. So if you color too hard, if you bear down too hard, it'll flatten out that tooth and then you can't get any color onto it. So I like to build up my colors very gradually. Okay, and so I think we can use a little bit of blue for the shadow areas in this shirt. Okay, and again, you can see I'm sort of just building these up very gradually. little bit of blue. Okay. All right, so let's see. We got to get some some more color into his flesh tones here. So I'm going to just use this guy here. So when I do my flesh tones, uh, I like to use a little bit of purple. And sometimes we can use a little bit of pink in there too, but purple for the shadows. Okay, so you can see I'm sort of building this up. Let's get a little more red up here into his hat. And a little bit more down in here. We can start to fill in some of these colors a little bit more. There we go. That's looking pretty good. I feel like we need to get some color inside his mouth here. So I'm going to just do his tongue real quick. Throw a little bit of pink on top of that. I think we can put some pink into his nose here, too. Maybe he's been out on the beach for a little while. He's starting to get a little bit of a sunburn. We throw some pinks into his skin tones as well. So 
just sort of gradually building up my colors. And the nice thing about colored pencils is um, you can get the same effect with crayons or colored pencils. They work really well together. So if you have larger areas, you can just get your set of crayons out and fill those in, as long as you stay uh, very light with your touch. You can use both together. Okay, so we need to get some more red into these trunks. I'm going to use a little bit of a darker color here. Start to build in some of my reds. Okay, we got to get that up into that hat too. There we go. All right, and so I'm going to get some, uh, let's grab a light blue here and we'll throw a little bit more shadow into his beard and into any of the areas that are white. I'm going to take this color here and just kind of fill in some of the shadow areas on the hat as well. There we go. Let's bring some more green back into this shirt. That's pretty good. like we need a little bit of shadow in, in some of this uh, swim trunk area. So let's get in here. Just go around where the shirt is. And along this waistband here. Same with on this side. Okay, and I can use a little bit of this purple up in here. In these corners to show some shading underneath his beard because the uh, purple works well with flesh tones as, as a uh, shadow tone. There we go. Get a little more pink around his nose here. I want that to stand out. Okay, and let's see, how about if we um, how about if we add a little bit more yellow in here to his shirt? So now I'm using these colors just to sort of blend things out a little bit more now. That's looking pretty good. And so now I'm going to grab a, a nice pink color here. Just throw that on top to bring out the red in these shorts. So if we can build these, these little pieces here using lots of different colors, it'll give it a nice full rich feel. That's a great color right there. Nice and bright. Okay, I think he'll probably be wearing a pair of brown sandals. So we'll throw that brown in down there. And I'll use a little bit of orange to blend that out with. Sort of a light brown orange color. And this would work pretty well in some of our flesh tones, too. Okay, we can use a little bit of that over here on his feet. I'm just going to go very loosely with the stuff that's around him here, just to kind of give a hint of him being on the beach. Let's find like a nice turquoise color for that water.
And we can throw a little bit of that into the shirt as well. Okay, and I'm going to find a very, let's see if we can find a very bright pink for those flowers. I think this will work well. And these we can just color in fairly dark because we're not going to do too much with the shading and the shadow on these guys. some of this stuff back here. Put a little bit of brown into the bottom part of that bag. And there we have it. Oh, wait. <laughs> Let's do this. There we go. Got to make sure he's wearing his sunglasses. Almost forgot. And there you have it. They're sent on the beach. If you enjoyed this lesson and you'd like to see more, check out my DVDs or find me on my website at bobostromstudio.com.